for example, wh when you play clarinet, sometimes you are too too high, sometimes you are too low, and you say it's the, the clarinet is out of tune. So what I'm doing to to understand the system, what's happening in my mouth, I, I close here the clarinet, and the sound is going just from here. Okay, uh, I'm making a B. I'm making a B, and the sound is coming from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can try to find the harmonies. It seems to be ridiculous, but to feel exactly what's happening inside, it's very important. The game is to, to try to, to control that perfectly. You can practice your clarinet until 10 p.m. And then after that, this is not now, so for the neighbors it's perfect, you can practice that all the night. So and if you practice that, you will have a feeling in the, in the months where the air is going, where the tongue is going, you will control exactly everything. Así que al practicar eso, eh, uno va a entender por dónde es que pasa el aire en la, eh, dentro de la boca, dónde es que va la lengua y va uno a tener control de todo. Por ejemplo, para el Rhapsody in Blue de Gershwin, you, you can have the... I, I am on an harmonic. I'm on the harmonic of the G. Yeah? And then, so you have twice more fingerings to go to the C. Not to the B, to the C. <laughs> for, for the tuning, if if you are too high or too low, for example, I can do that. I can do that before the finger. Oh. <laughs> you trust me? It's a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> You can just do that with a clarinet. Uh, I use also to play oboe for 10 years, and this kind of thing is impossible. Just a clarinet can, can do that. These instruments give a lot of possibility. That's why we have jazz, we have klezmer, we have uh, classical music, we have a lot, a lot, a lot. So we, we, we never finish with the clarinet, e e e even. So I can also speak about the circular breathing, who is something also very useful. It can help you a lot, save your life for for concertos where the, the phrase is very long, you don't want to get it. So I, I'm always practicing with a glass of water, with a straw. Dice que también quiere hablar de la respiración circular, que es algo que puede salvar muchas veces en ciertos conciertos. Because you, you don't need any pressure to make bubbles in the water with a straw. Porque no se necesita nada de presión de aire para hacer burbujas en un vaso de agua soplando. But I, you know, I, I first we have practiced that. It, it don't need pressure. You have to practice that. I, I, personally, I did that when watching football. Because football is not very interesting and 
it's, you don't need concentration for the grain, so you have to concentrate on something else, and then when there is a goal, you can watch the fruit for a bit. The, the, the thing is that you have to put some hair inside of the wheat, mm -hmm. and when you push the hair with the wheat, you take breath from the nose, yes? Like, like this. It's very useful if you drink too much alcohol and the, the, the police catch you, then you can make it go up with it. It can save your life in this way. But then after you have to put that on the clarinet, and it's quite more, more difficult. But So to speak about the slap tomb, you know slap tomb? It's a percussion. So the, the reed, I find a good reed, but then the, the, the reed is doing that. The, the tongue is coming to take the reed and make it on the, on the move piece, like that. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is also quite long long work to to have that but w when you you want to practice first you have to to do like that just you take just this part of the clarinet and you put the teeth here of course and the pressure must be on the top you have two ways to make the flat of some the first one is with the the throw uh, or the second one is with the tongue and generally it depends on your language Así que hay dos formas de hacer el, el frulato, uno es con la garganta y otro es con la lengua y que por lo general cuál usa uno depende del el idioma que uno habla. So, you say frulato? Frulato. Frulato. With the tongue. Fru, I, yeah. I see that here with frulato. <laughs> Personally, I, I cannot because my, my my mother language is French, so I cannot make. We don't have that in French. <laughs> just, just with that, like. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the sound is always cutting a little bit. For example, if I if I do that on one note. Yeah. <laughs> It will be a little bit like uh, so. I'm choosing where I'm doing the circular breathing. Mm -hmm. If the note is very long in pianissimo, it's not a problem. No problem because we don't need pressure. But if I have to do that in forte. It's not. It's normal. So I, I'm always choosing where there is a lot of notes in the in this register. <laughs> Nobody can hear that because it's a it's a right place. If I have to do that in the high register, <laughs> I, I will do on the F, but not on the C because on the C it's dangerous. So, so on, on my music it's written RC, not not uh, RC with a carbo. Respiration circulaire. I, I put RC so I know that there I can I can do it. And not after, not before. Just just I choose my place. That that's why we have to practice. Okay. Do do you have any any questions? No T around nine thirty yeah. ten. To to choose a read. I, I have something like 100 reeds here that I didn't touch before, so totally new.
and uh, I'm making, I try, I try, I try, and suddenly I have a Stradivarius read, and okay, I, I, I practice alone, I practice with piano, and if the read is working, I, I, I do it on the concert. But some people will tell you the read must be prepared a long time. Uh, two days ago I was in Lima, the reads were totally different. Tomorrow I will be in Santiago de Chile, so that the read will be different. So in this case, I cannot prepare the read, so I have no choice. Um, but thi this this turn is, is quite nice because Lima is on the sea. Here we are not in the same level, and uh, Santiago de Chile also. So it, it's very comfortable this time. But last year I went to Quito in Ecuador. It's 3,000, more than 3,000 meters. Then I go to Lima, zero. Then I go to Arequipa, it's high. Then I come back to Santiago de Chile. And then I, so I was like that, you know, on the mountain. And you have to know that if you play on altitude, the reed will become really stronger, stronger, stronger. My, my reed here, you will maybe not trust me, it's number two and out. Because my move piece is open. So I, I didn't know that before. And, uh, one day I was arriving in Mexico City for a recital, and I tried my, my clarinet and <laughs> <laughs> nothing, but really, nada de nada. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, what's happening? So, uh, just that my, my read was like read number five. So I, I had to play read number 1.5, but I, did, I didn't know that. I, I really, it was my first time in altitude. So it, no, I'm really careful about that. When, when I go abroad, I have all the numbers. I have 1.5, <coughs> 2.5, 3.5, 3.5. 3. I have all the numbers, and I choose. Yeah. And, and something also about the reads. If I have a good read, I take something like, uh, like a paper, the visit card of Mr. Tov, <laughs> and uh, I, I, just, I, I just take my reads, and I, I do that. Just that, and, and that. Why? Just to just to close the the poros. The, poros. the poros. Just to close it to be very very soft, so they, they will not change with the humidity. Then um, I, I use also to be oboe player. I I was playing first oboe and then clarinet, and I I grow up with both instruments until I enter in the National Belgian Orchestra. I decide to stop the oboe, but. I have my first prize of oboe, so so I, I get the habit to make my reads, you know, oboe players, <laughs> and I, I I I can I can take the reads of the clarinet and try to, to do it, but after years and years and years, I I just decide to stop it because if the read is not good, you cannot change it. You have just to put on the barbecue, to open the barbecue, to invite <laughs> the to the But don't, don't lose time to, to try to do it, because it's, it's absolutely not working. Cl clarinet is, or saxophone is absolutely amazing. You have, ten, you have a box, 10 reeds, you choose, you have one. It depends the, the mark, I don't want to speak about reeds, mark. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, uh, if the reach is not working, don't lose your time. It, it's, it's like that okay. for me. It, that's my personal opinion. Maybe, maybe you are not agreeing with me, but because I, I try a lot, and you know, you, 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 you're watching the, the reach like that, and you say, "Huh, oh, there's a little <laughs> bit too much wood here." So I, I, I will do that here. You know? <laughs> so not the oh, It's better. <laughs> it's some, some clarinet players put the, the, the ligature here. Okay. Mm. But if you put the ligature too high, high the, the reeds cannot vibrate. So put as low as possible. The, my, my, my ligature is here. Because, so the reeds have more flexibility. And uh, so th that's it for the reeds. I, I want also to speak about the, the, the clarinet in general, the, 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 the barrel, for example. Uh, I, I, go to the, I go to the buffet compound factory each month to try barrels, to try this, to try the clarinet, to, to say this is working, this is not working, we have to change that, we have to change that. And do you know, 
why they put a, a mark here? You know that or not? Yes, yeah. Yes, but why? <laughs> because look, if I play that, if I, if I change it, if I change it, you, you can make the test. I think it's with all the time. So I put a sticker here, and then I, I give to a man who make <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, I spend a lot of time with that. You know? And when I come abroad, people play like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm just becoming crazy because I spend a lot of time. To do it. That, that's the first reason you can translate. Also, the, the second reason is that if one day you play like that, if the second day you play like that, the first day you play like that, the water will always choose a different way to go on the clarinet. And you will have a lot of waters in the keys. In this way, it's always the same the same way. It's like a river. Yeah. And it's it's the same for, for this. Maybe a little bit less, but it's the same also. The 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 bell is just for the legato in the high register, yeah? Because my reed is soft, it's always, it's always, you know, I will speak about Guy de Plu, who is a French clarinet player, very famous. When I tell him I play reeds number two and a half, he was looking at me saying, <laughs> like if I was not a true man, you know, because I play, <laughs> I, I play reeds uh, very soft. And, but I, I tell him, try it, try it. And then he was, that's very hard. Why? Because if the move piece is really open, you have to, the canyon must be soft. And if the move piece is closed, then you have to put, it's like a compromise between, between both. Yeah? For that, you have to invite Robert Spring. <laughs> this is the dragon tongue. Yeah. Robert, if you look at hello. <laughs> he is, he is amazing. He can make double staccato, triple staccato. I, I cannot. I, I try it. I, okay. It, it, de it depends on the mount and personally, I'm sorry I cannot do that. I, I just make simple staccato. Um, I, would, I would love to do it. And uh, I was five years ago with Robert Spring in, in Lima. And I asked him, please, can you, can you explain me? Then he asked me, where do you touch the reeds when you make staccato? I don't touch the reed. I just, I just down the lips. And he looked at me and said, then you will never make the double or the triple staccato. It's impossible. <laughs> OK, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I say, oh, it's $20. OK. It's, 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 I <laughs> but it, there is one video which is very, very interesting on YouTube where Robert Sprink uh, have a camera inside of the mount to show the double, the triple staccato, like, uh, like you know, you make echography for mm -hmm. it. Uh, he put a camera here, put a camera, and then you, you can see what's happening. It, it's really interesting. And, uh, I cannot, but maybe, maybe you can do it. With this video, it can be really helpful.